Welcome, Agile friends. Uh, I'm your host, Vashko Duarte, and I'm here with our amazing guest, Sanjit Bhattacharya. Hey, Sanjit, welcome to the summit. Hi, Vasco. So, so Sanjit so is going to talk to us here. about the use of prompts uh, with Gen AI in our role at as product owner. Sanjit is also a seasoned Agile delivery and transformation consultant with uh, more than 18 years experience. Now, uh, Sanjit will share all about prompts and how to use them in a second. But first, let me tell you about another talk that is going to uh, happen here on the Product Owner Summit. You can check out Scott Sivright, who has uh, quite a few demos, some of the demos, uh, some demos we will see in this talk as well. But that talk has also quite a few demos on how we can use Gen AI to help in specific product owner talks. So check that out. All of the Ta uh, all of the talks and the program uh, are available at productownersummit.org. But uh, now our attention, of course, focuses on you, Sanjit. And uh, let's start with uh, kind of an introduction, maybe. Can you explain how you are, you specifically are using generative AI and how it is transforming your approach to the product owner role? All right. So uh, first of all, thanks for having me here. And uh, I really think that generative AI is not even being leveraged to about 20% of what it can actually do. Because nowadays, you know, what, what I see people do is just type in a prompt, get a content, copy paste it, use it. Unfortunately, that's the harsh reality. That's what, what's happening. When we talk about product ownership or product management, there is a huge potential that lays in generative AI and AI in general. Because when I look at generative AI, I look at it as a expert companion who is there with me to solve my mutate tasks, to help me ease out the things that I'm working with. For example, you want to write a story on a domain, which is the first of its kind for you. Let's say I am a product owner who is expert at BFSI or FinTechs, but I'm all of a sudden put into a product a project or a product which is related to, let's say, aviation or education. Okay. So I need a starting point from where I can apply the skills of a product owner that I have and then build upon from there. Sometimes the starting point is not available and that is where everything gets delayed because you try hit and try. This is where I think this is the first step where product owner has been helping me a lot. Product owner's uh, prompts has been helping me a lot while when I use generative AI. And uh, another very important thing is, and in fact, I will try to show some of those things today, that a very major chunk of the corporate life is doing presentations. We even we even if we don't like it, we have to do a lot of presentations, right? starting from sales to product demonstrations. So generative AI can again help you form a very nice guideline on any, absolutely any topic within a matter of 10 minutes. And I, I would rather say that I have placed a cushion of four or five minutes. It's actually three to four minutes. That is the amount of time it takes for generative AI. And I'm talking about only text-based generative AI. I don't think I'm going to be going to a fancy a uh, website which will create a presentation. I'm talking about text-based generative. That will help me create a presentation on any topic of the world within four minutes. So that is the power. So I think when you talk about product management, product ownership in specific, these are the areas which a product owner should be leveraging. And if you talk about what, how I am using all of these things, right now I am working as a transformation consultant in one of the projects and there, all these aspects related to product agility, team and technical agility can be really streamlined. The observations of an assessment can be really crystallized very nicely and something which makes a lot of sense without having to say a lot of things in your report or in your findings. So, so let's focus on how you use uh, generative AI in the role as a product owner. So can you share with us an example of uh, some things that you currently do to 
as you said, sure, sure, leverage sure. So what, the so potential what, of generative AI? Obviously. So what I will do is I will share my screen and I will uh, take you through the one of one of the examples which I just mentioned about how to write a story in an uncharted domain and how to refine it so that your backlog is managed better. Perfect. So you know this is a very familiar uh, platform we are in. So what 